Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. So for today's pick a card, I wanted to revisit this topic as well as use my pendulums again. Uh, messages from your divine counterpart. So I'm not sure what's going to come out in this reading. I had a feeling your divine counterpart might come through in the form of, let's say, their higher self. Uh, so what you may not see is like their conscious thoughts in the present because um, you know, I feel like there's a separation with our conscious mind and our soul and our higher self. So um, either way, I still feel like it'll resonate. But um, again, it may not entirely match with, let's say, the situation you're in, but it may begin to, um, you know, as that person heals, just as an example, as you heal. Okay. But yeah, this is, um, I, I'll clarify that this is almost like coming from the soul of your divine counterpart. I hope that makes sense because that's kind of just what I felt. Um, <clears throat> as I was starting to film this, okay? So, sorry if I sound weird, I'm getting over a cold, but I think I'm okay. Uh, so we have here the four groups, uh, the pendulums again, okay? And the timestamps are below, I'll show you each one. Remember, it's a general reading, if you want a personal reading, the link is below. And you're gonna see, because of my new uh, schedule, it's really a, an unpredictable schedule. All of my bookings are gonna look like they're on Saturdays, but if you see in the questions, I put an asterisk that uh, I, I can send it to you earlier throughout the week, depending on when I have that little pocket of free time. So look out for that. So we have here group number one. Uh, this is Clear Quartz. Group one. Group number two is black tourmaline. Group number three is rose quartz. Group number four is epidote. Okay, so you can pause if you need to. Again, we have here group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So whenever you guys are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number one, the clear quartz pendulum. So yes, let's get the messages from your divine counterpart, their soul, their higher self, and if we can, their conscious self as well. It all kind of uh, tends to blur together at times. Spirit, this reading is for group number one. Our clear quartz group. Can you please give us messages, communication from their divine counterpart? <clears throat> group one's divine counterpart. Okay, so Spirit, is there a first message that you have for group one just in terms of the situation or this uh, communication that we're about to get? What do they need to hear? Please, sorry, this plug is in the way. Uh, what does group number one need to hear? Thank you. Group one, clear quartz. So we have, okay, um, so we have the Knight of Wands. So immediately I do feel that there is, um, there, there's a very noticeable movement, group one. I was tempted to say that something is coming towards you, but realistically, I do think that this is all kinds, of, there's different kinds of movement or different things that could be coming towards you. So whether it is communication or it could be an energy shift that ultimately may affect your divine counterpart connection, you know, there, there's some really intense movement that's happening as we speak. Um, if you have not already received that movement in whatever shape or form, it could be happening soon. I'll just get a few more and then we'll get the messages directly from your divine counterpart. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> this is beautiful. So we have the Ten of Cups. So this is Spirit's way of giving you, um, I would say, a glimpse. This is a preview, you know, and I am definitely not an expert on this whole topic, but uh, I feel like this is showing you ideally. This is ideally what can happen in the potential timelines. There's so many different possibilities of the future. It's not set in stone. But basically, Spirit is saying, if you follow your path, your spiritual path, your um, path of balance and healing or, or loving energy, whatever it is, whatever you're probably already doing, I feel like this is definitely something that's going to be in your future. Like, definitely. Um, okay, so actually, that's all I'm going to get. Let's get messages from them. Okay, so um, 
divine counterpart of group number one, our clear quartz. I invite you to also pick any deck that you would like to use. I don't know if they'll want to, but let's just start off with this one. I also have the written deck. I haven't used it in a long time. Divine counterpart of group number one, what would you like to tell them first? What is your first message for them? Just anything at all that um, you need to say. Divine counterpart of group number one, please. What would you like to tell them first? What is your first message for them? I don't know if you guys can hear that rain, but it's like pouring. Oh, this is really nice. Okay, so we have the Hermit card here. So I, I really love this energy. This feels very soothing, peaceful. There's a lot of solitude here. Um, I don't know if this is going to resonate for you, but definitely for them. Your divine counterpart right now is kind of taking a break. I, I wanted to even say <clears throat> kind of taking a break from society <laughs> or something like that. Um, but there's a very good reason. It's because their soul is recharging and replenishing right now. As you can see, there's like a lot of noise in the world. There's a lot of noise in their life, even within their own mind and even soul. However, that works. Um, they're they're recharge they're at their recharging station. You know they're plugged in here and they they need rest and to replenish. And the good news for them <clears throat> is that it's working. Okay, it's working for them. Um, they are finding their own light. It is shining more and more every day. Uh, a little side message for your counterparts who happen to be creative, um, or just like have these different types of brilliant ideas that is very much growing for them right now as well i don't know if they wanted to start something um like a project or um some type of an idea or path for themselves in that particular sense but if that's the case i can see that this is growing for them and the, this is really exciting like they're not feeling excited in this moment but i can feel it because i can sense where that's heading it, it's going to head in a place where it's going to grow into something prosperous but that's sort of like a different reading <laughs> okay and moving deeper into this hermit card as you can see the eyes closed there i still feel <clears throat> that your divine counterpart despite this solitude and retreat that they're in currently that they're still that they still think of you and it's almost like this um background low-key always thinking of you energy it, it's like just there in the background noise of their mind and it's just always there it's just this steady stream this steady stream the steady heartbeat of thoughts of you is kind of what i'm feeling your person's kind of poetic by the way i can tell <laughs> um i think they want to use a different deck i think they might want to make things interesting here that's probably what they want to do um, do you have a preference now? I think they wanted to use this one. This is the, I think it's the Goddess of Light Oracle, if I'm not mistaken. And it looks like the woods. It's probably where they want to be right now. That's probably where their soul is resting within the woods. <clears throat> Divine counterpart of group number one, what else do you want to tell them, please? What else is your message for them? Okay, they said before I even stop shuffling or um they said like uh look and you shall find me or seek and you shall find me if you're looking for them i i don't think they mean this in a literal way you don't have to go out and looking for them but they mean psychically right this is a very psychic energy that just them so the both of you together are probably amplified completely right but they said look and you shall find me so i feel as though if you want to talk to them telepathically yeah psychically um, through astral projection, you know, dreams, stuff like that, that it will be easy. It really won't be hard at all to find them, but you do have to seek, meaning you have to, I think, have that intention rather than just kind of um, letting it happen randomly. But that's only if you want. So you don't have to do that, but that's kind of what they said there. Uh, okay, what else, please? <clears throat> Okay, so we have courage, strength, fierceness, and family. So with the word family, I definitely feel uh, that they were trying to say that they're your soul family. I mean, that's probably obvious, but they just wanted to confirm that with you. In terms of strength and fierceness, 
and especially because this is a number two, I do feel like this is a shared energy so that the both of you are really fierce type of people especially mentally, like mentally, that, that mental fortitude, um, it kind of just brings to mind people who have gone through a lot of different types of, uh, whether it's like, could be like mental illness, could be physical illness, something like that, that had to show that strength and resilience and stuff. Um, so that they're, they're trying to tell you that, you know, you are strong, we are strong, especially together. Okay, so we have harvest. You got another kind of like double or dual thing. You have number 44, uh, harvest, gathering of blessings. So this gives me the impression that, yes, something is still growing, but when it finally comes to its um, full bloom, you know, some that comes into fruition, this is going to be incredibly abundant, incredibly abundant. And I did say the word prosperous before, and I feel like that is still uh, the case here. So yeah, um, it's, it's still growing, it's still blooming. Um, again, you're not necessarily yet going to see the fullness of it just because of the stage that you guys happen to be in, which I do think, again, is for both of you, the stage of the hermit, the stage of um, like, uh, basically resting, resting and growing within yourself so that eventually it'll be ready to come into the light. Do you need to use, yeah, they want to use this deck now. I don't know why they're wanting to use so many different ones. Probably just, again, creative soul there. Okay, so what else, please? Divine counterpart of group number one. What else would you like to tell them at this time? This is the, oh my God, I forget. Is this the spirit song? Okay, got two from here. So we have the Knight of Crystals, Endurance and Determination. So really similar to what we already saw with the Courage card. And then we have the Ten of Feathers, Recovery and Transformation. Okay, so what, as you can see, you know, it, and it's very similar, the artwork here with the camel and the snake looking up towards the sun, looking up towards the divine. Um, it's pretty clear to me now with this confirmation that your person is undergoing a transformation right now. And I don't even know if that's a shared energy because it just feels very much like them right now. Although, of course, it could be true for some of you. But I feel like this is really unique to your person. They're going through some type of a spiritual transformation right now. And again, we knew that probably from the first card. We see that lantern of their inner light. Um, yeah, they're, they're still in recovery. They're still shedding the old skins they're still trying to break free from something whether it was captivity false beliefs um trauma you know whatever it was here but they are enduring they, they're succeeding so just because we're going through a transformation doesn't always mean you know that we easily get through to the other side it's difficult but they wanted to let you know and even spirit wanted to let you know that your divine counterpart is succeeding they are enduring all of the hardships and the challenges and they are quite determined their soul is very strong um i feel like that means <clears throat> most likely that this is a person with a very strong will um it just crossed my mind now that Again, if you if you do wish, and you may not wish to, some of you, if you do wish to communicate with your divine counterpart, um, you can use quartz. Like, that's the one that you chose. You can use quartz of any kind. I found myself for the first time using quartz yesterday when I was trying to channel my creative writing. And I never did that before, but it, it worked. And I was I was pleasantly surprised. It, it worked really well. Um, you know, I think it was the quartz that did it. So yeah, you may want to meditate with some type of quartz. This is clear quartz specifically. Um, obviously, you can try others, but that's what they told me. Okay, so what else would you like to tell them? Now we're going to use my deck, the, uh, the Child Tarot. Hold on. What else would you like to tell them, please? They probably have a playful message for you here because that's what this is all about here. Divine counterpart, what is your message? Or of group one, what is your message for them? Yeah, they definitely are getting playful here where I feel like this is the energy that's going to come to you when uh, if you're in separation or if, you're, if there's coldness between you guys right now, when you come back together. 
uh, that is going to be like that playful energy. Because they said catch me if you can. Like one of those, it's like playful taunting. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. So this is the fool card, the game. And they're so happy. Again, see? The same kind of thing. Looking up towards the sun. Being guided by the divine. Being guided by the universe. Oh, interesting. This is supposed to be the judgment card, but it's uh, in my deck, it's the it's forgiveness. And I feel... I don't know in what way, because it could be with you, with them, with life, with spirit. I'm not sure. But somehow, forgiveness is relevant in your situation. So maybe they are asking for forgiveness. Maybe... Um, you know, someone here may, may ask for forgiveness or even, you know, just need to be forgiven. Like, I'm not exactly sure what's going on in this because it's all different situations. Uh, but that's a big part of this. And I think that ultimately I do feel like someone is going to seek it and receive it. Uh, and again, whether it's from a person or the divine, because there's an angel here too in the background. I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's an Im like an image of an angel. There's also going to be an exaggerated amount of signs, I think, that's going to come towards you or them. Um, if that's ever happened to you, you'll probably, you know, resonate, like you'll see what I mean. But there are going to be more signs. Um, you may have already received a few, but there are going to be plenty more, especially probably on their side. So they're going to be hearing some things that they're like, wait a second, that was strange, you know, um, or seeing some things that don't make a lot of sense, but then they're going to understand that this is directly from their angels and guides, okay? So yeah, forgiveness. Um, what else? So with the game card, the fool card, uh, yes, it is showing a new beginning. It is showing healing. It is showing, uh, in whatever way this resonates, like reconciliation. This is a temperance card. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, there is a new chapter coming towards you. Now, I don't know if it's just this year and the collective. I, I don't know if you guys know about the energy forecast of this year, but I do kind of feel like, I don't know exactly when, but I do feel like at some point in this year, maybe close to the midpoint, a little bit after that, I, I'm not sure. I do feel like there is going to be a significant shift in the vibration, higher frequency, happiness. We see happiness and joy right here with the game and the new beginning, okay? Oh, this is nice because we have the number nine and this is the nine of supposed to be the nine of pentacles so this here feels like um it i mean in, in a literal sense here in this card it does still feel to me like someone has been saving up um there's been something again kind of like there's been something growing and over here with the bird in the cage something is becoming freed okay so in your situation there may have been something relevant where someone needed to be freed of something specific whether it was like a situation environment um again it could have been mental or physical health like i'm not sure but uh yeah so that that is something that's also happening here and in addition there also could it be for only those of you where it resonates, um, something where one of you needed more like help with the financial, uh, something with career, that also could be relevant here too. Someone is going to be doing really, really well. Okay, so final messages. Let's see. Let's go back to the writer. Um, Spirit, can you also assist uh, divine counterpart of group number one, clear courts? What is your final message for them? What do they need to say? And I will pull a couple of those other worded messages for you guys. What else would you like to tell them? of pentacles <clears throat> three of wands and the knight of cups so their final message for you and it's strange because your person or your divine counterpart gave us quite a few messages and yet i felt at the same time that they weren't really speaking they weren't really saying anything they were quiet which again makes sense from over here and it it's still the same thing at the end um, we have King of Pentacles, eyes closed, same thing. This is a very earthy, stable energy. So what your divine counterpart is telling you is that everything is going to stabilize. It's going to be balanced. It's going to be stable and secure. Um, again, the energy is moving towards you. Something is coming or at least moving forward and it's not stuck at all. Um, in fact, with the Three of Wands, something is evolving and expanding. Uh, now, hidden message there for only a smaller number of you travel could also be involved this person uh could be traveling 
the like somewhere in the world or or like closer to you I, I mean maybe I don't know exactly where they're going but they're they're going okay so there's that and now finally let's get some of the worded messages see if they want to really just use their voice because they kind of um, didn't really do that here they kind of like spoke indirectly to me I feel I don't want to disturb them they're in deep contemplation but I'm gonna tap them on the shoulder for a second here if that's okay I mean, I saw this, like, I it almost fell out. It says, I want to talk to you. Okay, hold on. These are hard to shuffle. So, Divine Counterpart, can we just have some final messages, please, for what you want to tell your Divine Counterpart Group 1, please, anything? They said, I'm still healing, okay? So they confirmed it, you know, and this card does give me a very love, uh, not love, like a heart-centered vibe, the heart chakra vibe. So yeah, they're still healing. Again, we knew that, and they will heal. They will uh, succeed in the fullness of their healing. They're, they're striking me as, an, in this point in time, they're the type of energy to be really thoughtful, and, and they, they are being patient currently. They're um they've like if i don't know if they were before but they're a very mature energy at this point in time uh any final messages what would you like to tell them last messages just get one more there it is okay these kind of fell on a chunk i honestly don't trust it but this fun fell out by itself let me just get one more then can we just have one more? One more. Okay. Thank you. I am moving on. Just be honest with me. There was something in the past, I believe, for many of you, if not all of you, that had to do with something where someone... Um, I don't know if they lied directly, but they may have been dishonest or um, not entirely forthcoming. There could have been, it could have been them or you where someone was really holding something in. I don't know if they were hiding it, but something has to do with that where um, if something did happen, especially if you had a falling out or something kind of just weird happened between you guys, uh, this person is moving on from that occurrence so if it was them and they were mad they're they're feeling better about it um if it was them that did a wrong because remember we saw forgiveness if they did something wrong they're moving on from that immaturity and they're they're um balancing from that again so they're still healing so that's all they have to say for now your person said a lot and yet they didn't really say it out loud it's it's kind of strange to explain it but that's what i'm seeing here for you guys okay so group number one, um, this was very interesting. I hope that it did resonate. If you found it helpful and if it did resonate, feel free to subscribe. Um, and if you want a personal reading, the link is below. I said in the intro that they all look like they're on Saturdays, but they're actually going to be either Saturdays the latest or earlier in the week because my schedule is too unpredictable now. Thank you guys so much. Sending you love and healing and balance, and I will see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number two, which is the Black Tourmaline. All right, so Spirit, this reading is for group two, Black Tourmaline Pendulum. Messages from their divine counterpart. What do they want to tell them? So I'm going to ask your divine counterpart directly. I'm going to use cards. I'll invite them to use whichever cards they want, but then at the end I will get those written messages that I haven't used in forever. Uh, Spirit, what is your fir your first message for group two, sorry, group two, before we get their direct uh, communication from their divine counterpart? Any message? Okay, pretty pointed message here. There is an obvious rebirth that is happening. So... I mentioned in group one, I don't know if any of you guys know about this stuff. You're good with astrology, energy forecast. I do feel intuitively, just based off of everyone's energies and my own, that there is something really shifting within this year. Particularly, I I, I do feel like it's, it's going to be in 
maybe like April to July. I'm not exactly sure, but it, it is happening. It's already happening. You may already be feeling it. And if not, it's really coming through soon. The letter R struck me with the sun because I saw rebirth. I don't know if that's relevant here, but there is this very obvious death, meaning ending of a previous cycle and everything's going to be waking up. You know, that's relevant to us here um, where, well, it technically just turned spring, but <clears throat> doesn't really feel like it. But yeah, that everything is waking up. Okay, so that that's your first message. This could be true for you and or your person, uh, your divine counterpart. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Wow. I cut the deck and you got two aces. That's really nice. So divine counterpart of group two, black tourmaline group. Um, I'm going to invite you to use whichever deck you want. And they chose one. They chose one right away. It's uh, this one, the wisdom of the oracle. All right. All right. So again, th this is interesting. Like, I feel like they're, they're talking through the card cuts. So we have soulmates and never ending story. So I don't know, maybe you guys had a sort of like a pattern or a cycle if not in this lifetime it could have been in a previous lifetime too that tends to happen a lot okay so again uh definitely something new is happening it, something new is growing uh okay divine counterpart what is your message your direct message black tourmaline group for group two what do you want to tell group two divine counterpart of group two <clears throat> treasure island this is going to sound cheesy but they did say this they said i just want you to be happy so i'm looking at the face in the treasure chest and i'm getting this feeling that someone may have had to sacrifice something here Although I wonder if that is even really needed because I feel like uh, in this case, you know, divine wants the both of you to be happy. Um, but there could be some conflict in your situation where it may feel like, oh, man, like one of us has to give something up or something like that. Um, but yeah, th this person is really just they just want you to be happy. I just kind of wonder what's going on. If that's the case, if it's not, I'm, I'm not assuming anything about the connection. You, there's a lot of energies here. So maybe you're already with this person. Maybe there's a separation. I don't know. But that's that's what they said. Okay, what else please divine counterpart of group two? What would you like to tell them? <laughs> okay, <laughs> they said time for a nap. This energy is definitely different from group one. I feel, I do kind of feel a sense of, um, it does feel like more of a sense of closeness. Um, I'm just kind of comparing it because the other one was really different. This does feel like your person is closer in energy. So either you know of them, you are with them, you talk to them. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, with time for a nap. I, I do feel that your person is exhausted, okay? I don't know if this is you as well, but your person, uh, your divine counterpart is extremely exhausted by something and they truly just want to take a break from everything. And again, I feel like this is a collective energy. This is just, like, there's been so much, you know, um, especially within the last week and the last, obviously, few years. It's It's been a lot and, and you're, it's like they're running out of steam, okay? So what is, what else? What does this have to do with, uh, okay. Huh. There might be something that both of you or them is uh, having a hard time letting go of, and that may be what is causing this their exhaustion. There, it says unfinished symphony, and it's the number 10 usually means like the ending of something, right? Yeah, there's some type of energy, could be a karmic energy, that is really not ending. It's not completing itself, which is funny because the first card we got was about that, the the death and the ending of a cycle. But it may not have happened just yet. Like it's, it's right around the corner, but th this is why they're exhausted, I think. Can you tell us about that? Um, and Spirit, can you also assist us? Oh, woo. <laughs> Sorry, hit the, hit the phone. Oh. Oh, wow, look at that. Here's, here's what I'm seeing, uh, group two. Now, 
it might feel like for your divine counterpart and for yourself that this is a never-ending cycle that is just um, unfortunate or something. But the truth is, is that this was part of your destiny path or your uh, your path in general. Um, I got reminded of the 10 because of the Wheel of Fortune is a number 10, right? In the tarot. Um, I do feel like this was meant to happen. So maybe it was a soul contract. Maybe it was um, some kind of a karmic thing that eventually had to come to that justice balance. Uh, whatever it was. Serendipity is here. Um, uh, kind of just saying like things are going to fall as they need to think like whatever is needing to happen and it might seem like random and meaningless but th this was all meant this was all purposeful and um all you need to do is just get through it that that's all i know it's hard but like all you need to do is just get through it and here we are with new life so again i did say that it's right around the corner i feel the cusp of it right here and here it is so breaking through that old shell and um like really uh it's like the way she's stretching. It's like very rejuvenating. Just like waking up to this new life, this new energy, this new vitality uh, for for the both of you. And it's going to be worth it if you have if you've had troubles, if you've been exhausted. Like that's funny. I was talking about being exhausted. This person in this card is waking up to some newly ref refreshed energy. It's really amazing. So yeah, that that's what they want to say there. Okay. <clears throat> now let's see what else. Do you have any direct messages that you want to say to? Your divine counterpart, please. Divine counterpart of group two. Well, they feel lonely. Uh, that's pretty clear. If if there is separation between the both of you, they they feel very lonely. Um, trying to figure out what that orange thing is right there, and I don't even know what that is. Um, Anyway, yeah, the, uh, they, they feel very lonely. And if you are together still, they, they feel sad because of something. I don't. So I, again, I don't know if it's situational. I don't know if there was like a, a falling out, a fight, something like that. But they, that's how they're feeling. They're just feeling very low. And again, it doesn't help that they're exhausted. That definitely adds to it, even in a physical sense. If a person is um, sleep deprived or overworked, you know, uh, that can immediately cause physical depression and and whatnot uh what else would you like to tell them directly please okay so higher power yeah i think right now a lot of what your divine counterpart is doing is surrendering to a higher power and and really just com completely throwing all their trust into this because something is opening within their psychic sense specifically it could be their third eye um, maybe within their vision, maybe within their higher chakras, where there's enlightenment and knowing coming to them. They might have an increase in psychic ability within the next few months, like maybe three-ish, something kind of like that, or just like very soon. Um, and obviously that may affect the communication psychically with you guys, you know, that sort of a thing. But this person does look like they're surrendering to a higher power, and that's good for them because, you know, it, it'll help with some of these other feelings, um, especially this loneliness, because they, they're going to feel comforted. Okay, what else would you like to tell them directly? They are going to communicate with you soon. We have message in a bottle, pretty clear message there. Okay. Um, now, some of you, it could be a literal phone because that's what you can see right there. Um, the timing is, yeah, definitely going to be different. So again, it depends on your situation, but it, it's pretty clear to me that they're going to communicate with you very soon. I just don't know exactly when because everyone has a different vibe here. Um, well, do you want to tell us anything about the communication? Uh, do you want to use... I think they want to use this one. Do, would you like to tell us anything about this communication, please? Message in a bottle, divine counterpart of group two. Actually. Interesting. So yeah, um, we have the Knight of Cups, clarifying message in a bottle. We have the Three of Swords. 
And then we have the Five of Cups. That's almost exactly the same thing here. Interesting, right? You see? Yeah, I don't know what happened here recently, but it does seem like someone's feelings were hurt. Like they, they feel very wounded um, and saddened by something. But in terms of the communication, the message in the bottle <clears throat> that's happening here, it is going to be a soft and peaceful and loving energy that will reach you. So uh, for some of you, the, the word was... Um, is it reconciliatory? Is it even a word? Uh, so yeah, I feel like some they, they want to make up with you. If there was a fight, um, if they were closing themselves off because of some of these emotions, then it, they're going to start to open that up, okay? And I don't know your thoughts on this. Like, I, I, I don't know what what you want to do with this or, or how you feel about this, but yeah, there's something something's going on here with this... Uh, uh, wounded energy spirit is there any kind of other general messages we need to know to help out the clarity for this reading i mean not honestly not really um all they're really saying is that there is this passionate spark very childlike energy and there's a lot of joy potentially in this connection. So they're, they're really not giving you much of advice. It, it's just a matter of kind of letting things unfold. So um, Divine Counterpart of Group 2, do you have any other final messages with this deck? And maybe I'll switch if they want to, but any other messages with this deck? So we have by the book, number 11. Yeah, I mean, they're they're kind of confirming the same thing. Everything is just going to keep moving forward in the steps that it needs to. You cannot uh, skip steps. You can't rush this. You can't really do much of anything. The best thing that you can do is just to be present in the daily. Do whatever you have to do in your own life. <clears throat> and everything that needs to transform, because that's what we saw uh, in this connection, is going to transform just uh by default you know that it, that's just what's going to happen here okay so do um divine counterpart of group two do you have any other deck that you prefer i think they want to go right into the written messages <laughs> Alrighty, so let's do that so what do you directly want to say to them it might take me a second because these are kind of hard to shuffle I, I wrote these myself and these are kind of an old deck whoop Okay, uh, Divine Counterpart of Group 2, what would you like to tell them directly now? If we can get one card at a time, if possible. Oh, there it is. Oh, very beautiful. I will never give up hope. That is so them. Like, that. that's the feeling I got this whole time. No matter how tired they are, no matter how wounded they are, or how sometimes sad things look they will never give up hope they will keep going they will keep trying they will keep you know um, up the hope for this new light for for either themselves and their healing or obviously for the both of you really beautiful message there okay what else what else would you want to tell them and and do please let me know what you guys' situation situations are because um, again it could be so different I, I'm curious how this all translates for you Ooh, okay. Really sweet message here. I dream about you all the time. Your person really is very sweet. Like, um, just very romantic, honestly. <laughs> like, just, uh, I don't know, very connected to you. I did say before that you're close, like, you're very close. Um, a really strong, powerful, um, soulmate vibe like i know obviously that's like i don't know what the definition of divine counterpart is necessarily but they did say something about soulmate and i'm kind of trying to distinguish between soulmate and like i don't know like maybe twin flame or something but this feels very warm whereas i guess sometimes with twin flames it can feel a bit like more chaotic and stuff but the, I, and that could be the case who knows i don't know <laughs> but it just feels very warm okay what else would you like to tell them oh do you want to say anything about the dreams whoa look at that and we did see knight of cups before so now we have queen of cups so your energy is really powerful your energy reaches them and that's probably why they dream about you all the time because they're receptive to your energy they can feel your vibration they can feel your heart they can feel how much you care about them um, regardless of the situation they can feel all of that so and it's all it's all seeping through okay um you're really uh 
I guess like the word is like permeating, you know, your energy is, is uh, reaching them even through all of these layers of consciousness. And if there's like guards up and stuff, walls up, whatever the case may be. So really amazing stuff here. Super connected. Your person's very connected. You're connected. Okay. I need your healing. Oh my God. I love this. <laughs> I love their messages. This is so nice. I need your healing. Now, don't worry if you typically um, feel exhausted from like empathy and, you know, being the healer of your path and whatnot, you don't have to feel pressured with this one, but it just says, I need your healing, which is just your love, like your loving energy um, or, you know, just, uh, like, I don't think you have to do anything is kind of what I'm saying there. So don't worry about that. You just need to exist as who you are. And if it resonated with you that they're receptive of your uh, uh, towards your energy, you can do the same if you'd like. Like, if you're opening yourself up to receive their energy, that in itself would be healing. Um, is there a clarification you want to say with uh, that card? My God, I swear. Like, th this is like the, this is easy peasy right now. Everything is really smoothly coming out. I love this. Thank you for that. So again, we have another card. It's like before you were coming off a psychic, but now you're like ultra psychic because of the high priestess, okay? So yeah, you have extreme, I don't know if you knew this or not, but you have extreme uh, psychic ability, especially healing psychic ability. So even just like the simplest thought could be healing towards another person. You may have found this, okay? Um, so you may want to think about that and simply put some intention towards the thoughts and then you could really get the ball rolling there if, if you feel so called to, okay? All right, anything else? Anything else? Any final messages? They did say something about money, which is a lesser message, but it still was there. I don't know if there's a some relevance there in the three-dimensional world where either they're trying to, you know, do better financially or, or you are, I, I don't know exactly, but they did say something about that. You, you might want to keep that in mind with your abilities, okay? Because you could probably manifest something by just opening that energy up. Okay, anything else? Any final words? Whoop. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, we pretty much knew that. It says I'm hurting right now. We have three green cards in a row making me feel like it's in the heart chakra, okay? Um, and yeah, and, and that was confirmed already. So any other messages, anything you want to tell them about the future or how you feel towards them, anything, final messages. Thank you, group, uh, divine counterpart of group two. Um, maybe even you want to use black tourmaline if you have it to um, just work with that crystal or stone or whatnot. Please help me, yikes, like, oof, really heavy stuff. Um, bottom of the deck, I'm moving towards you. So that could be emotionally, that could be physically. So they, they kind of are um, just using that as a final confirmation here. Uh, it says, please help me. You know, like, I, I don't know if from their perspective, they might feel that they're incapable of doing a particular thing, whether it's their healing, whether it's their uh, physical situation. I, d I don't know in what way you're meant to help them. That's the only thing. This is their words, right? Spirit, is there any final message for if they need to, if group two needs to take action or is there advice just in a general sense for this? There, it, it's like they're calling out for help, but I had this feeling that there was more to this. So that's why I'm getting you these messages. There, okay, here's the answer to that. You may want to help them, but it, it might be that your hands are tied. Maybe you already tried to help them. Maybe it didn't work. Maybe you're not meant to do a particular thing at this time. Maybe they're meant to learn through this by themselves. It's a tough call. So the final message you have from Spirit is use your best judgment and intuition in a clear mind to make this decision and make it based off of fairness and balance. So in other words, if you feel like you already gave way too much to this person in the situation, it's okay to take a step back and to let them figure out their balance because that's part of their journey. That's part of even their soul contract with themselves or something like that. Um, but if you feel the opposite, if you're like, okay, maybe it is time that I, you know, took a step towards them, but you have to make the decision in a clear mind. Otherwise it's going to be um, kind of like off balance because you may not be in that center place. So just really um, think about it. Use your psychic ability, intuition if you need to. You can even use some divination tools, cards, pendulum if, if you want to. But that's that's what I'm seeing here, okay? So can we get a final message for the whole thing? <clears throat> One thing is for sure, this 
this person sees you in an extremely powerful light. They they really admire you. They see you as like they put. I don't know if they put you on a pedestal, but they really see you in, in such a a high place, like a high um, a bright light. Final message here is uh, the King of Pentacles. What is that? What are we saying here for the? I do feel like someone in the situation may need to take action or do something for themselves, okay? So I'm, I'm not sure if, if that's you or them, but someone here, it looks like someone here is just kind of sitting there and they're unaware that they may have to uh, do something and wake up to something or, or take action in some particular way. Almost like they're waiting. They're, they're waiting for something, but it, it's time to walk forward. It's time to move along uh, very soon. And... Um, basically complete a cycle so interesting that that could be very specific to your situation okay so um group two that is what i am seeing for you guys um i i really hope that this made sense you can let me know below um i hope that it resonated if you found it helpful you can subscribe thank you so much to your divine counterpart for their message and i forgot to thank group one's divine counterpart i'll just thank everybody um but yes that's what I'm seeing. And if you guys want a personal reading, info's below. Um, it looks like it's on Saturdays, but it'll be Saturdays or earlier in the week, depending. Okay, so sending you guys blessings. Again, I hope it was helpful. Thank you again, and I will see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number three, Rose Quartz. So let's see. Spirit, this reading is for group three. Messages from their divine counterpart, please and thank you. All right, so let's just get starting message from spirit. Then I'm going to get your messages from uh, the divine counterpart directly. I'll invite them to use different decks, and then I will use the written deck at the end. Uh, spirit, what is your starting message for group three? Rose Quartz, please. Anything at all that they need to know here before we get those direct messages I think all of the it's the same thing. I feel like there's such an energy shift happening this year. So let's see. Hmm, interesting here. I didn't usually get this many. Um, this is a very interesting situation. I have no idea the specifics just yet. Um, First, I want to say, I wonder if the number three is relevant to you guys. So I don't know if it's like three weeks or three months, something is happening here. I don't know if there was um, in your life or in their life, not necessarily even together. It, it feels like there could have been some type of recent hurt. Um, but whatever is going on here with this lower vibrational energy, something is really moving on and um, unburdening a lot. That's kind of what I'm feeling there. Spirit, what is the final kind of starting message for them? The number three came, came out again. I mean, um, now, mind you, I don't really, honestly, I don't know unless I would do a full reading. Um, this kind of really does remind me of something three-party, okay? Now, if that is not the case, and you might not even know who your divine counterpart is, um, we're seeing here, okay, sorry about that, we're seeing here the divine counterpart literally with a king and a queen of the same suit. So we have king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, again, I don't even, I'm not even sure if you guys have ever met, um... But it, it does appear to me that someone in the situation is feeling uh, pain within the heart because of perhaps maybe feeling like over here that they were with the wrong person. So if that doesn't resonate, that's okay. This is probably a specific message for some of you. But all I can tell is that something wasn't right here. But what we are seeing is that we're moving towards something that does make a lot more sense. But there's at least one person in this equation that is not aware of it. There's something here that is going to take some time to come into fru uh, come into fruition, yes, but like come into clarity and awakening, which again is a popular theme right now of the collective. Like that is what's happening. There's a lot of shifts, awakenings. Um, I hope that you guys have felt it because I have and I 
I'm happy to report that because it's been like four years that I've <laughs> been on this channel and I've been saying some things uh, alluding to that, but I never myself felt that balance. But I, I hope that you guys are beginning to. Now, divine counterpart of group number three and, and regardless of the situation, can you please give us some messages directly? Uh, now, I invite you to use whatever deck you'd like and they chose this one the energy oracle okay so to find counterpart of group three please what is your direct message your first message directly to group three thank you what would you like to tell them I am feeling a very unsettled energy. Again, leading me to say that I feel that there is a situation at hand, okay? So like I, I'm really not feeling that um, something is settled where it's like already this ideal situation where you've met and you know what's going on. I feel like if anything, there is a transition happening as we speak. Something is not settled, I, I feel. Okay. What would you like to tell them directly, please? Oh my god that that's pretty direct okay so that being said what i just mentioned okay they are asking you this is not me don't get mad at me um but they are asking you to have more patience now this is probably also coming from the knowledge of uh their higher self okay which their higher self pretty much knows everything um kind of like you know it's kind of like feeling like the uh angel overwatching everything and saying like i know where this is going i know how things are meant to work out so just please have patience and continue forward um yeah we have the time the the clock here and this angel looking very peaceful so another way to put that message is just to try to find some type of inner peace as you move forward okay divine counterpart of group three what else would you like to tell them <clears throat> So either of you right now, it looks like you're trying to completely figure out something. And I think it's your path as well as your power, okay? You have the world and magician and the mirror. So it, I don't know who, which of you is more confused or like um, just, I don't know if it's hesitation for some of you, but it does look like there's this struggle to find out the path and who you are and what not to say like what your abilities are it's not really about that um which by the way i do have past pick a cards on if you want to check that out i'll probably link it below let me just write that down um anyway so yeah like that is what you guys are trying to figure out right now and that is not something to be taken lightly and that is not something to rush uh, and this is not to say there's only one right answer or anything like that. There's, to me, I feel like there's really no pressure. You just have to go with the flows of uh, the universe and whatnot. Um, but at the same time, there could be a struggle to find some type of balance. And that is what I felt already when I said that something is unsettled. Okay, so in that case, um, let's ask Spirit. Is there a, a way that they can do this? Is there any advice as to how they, bo like both of them, can find that balance and that path? even that identity. Um, so one of the ones I'm gonna link below is like, what are your psychic abilities? But I'm also gonna add in, what is your path? I think I talk about purpose uh, as well. And that, that could be helpful here because I really do feel an inner struggle from at least one of you. So here we have the Ace of Cups. This is the way that you can figure this out is what Spirit is saying. Um, the Ace of Cups to me here is representing your heart. So first, you know how they say follow your heart? I was about to say, like, you may not be able to follow your heart if there's a blockage in the heart. So the first thing you want to try to do is work with your own heart chakra. If you feel that there are blockages in it, if there's wounds, if there's 
traumas and blockages from the past, you may need to work with that first. And once you remove that, like, like this, it is going to completely free up this space. You're going to have the flow coming through and rejuvenating itself, and everything is going to make sense, okay? And I do feel that this is relevant for the both of you. So if you want to learn more about the chakras, you know, if you're not sure about any of that, I, I did do a past video where I just introduce it, uh, which I think is always in my descriptions now. You guys can check that out below. All right. So divine counterpart of group number three, what else would you like to tell them? <laughs> okay. So we have, I just think this is a funny picture, I'm sorry. It's just like, yeah. So we have man holding a coin, okay? So gender is really irrelevant in these readings. It's a masculine energy. So we have here a masculine energy who really wants to have a feel, yes, to have that feeling of I want to provide, but it's it, it's more like um, that this is, what, I, I don't know if it's like one of the love languages of, you know, but it just seems that this person, to this person, is very important that they are able to either provide or protect or just make the other person feel secure in that way. And yes, it could be with physical things, you know, so this is really important to this person. Um, okay, so what about that did you want to tell them, though? <clears throat> door to spirit so i think that in line with everything else that's going on with this person that they're they're still kind of opening the door to that and the their ability to create wealth and prosperity in their lives is you know very much connected as it usually is with their spirituality and here we see that the door is opening spirits opening that door for them and all of that beautiful golden light is flowing through it so they are also opening up some energy center within themselves it could be their heart it could be other stuff like their whole soul um and they're working on it so they just kind of wanted to tell you that that they're working on it and this is kind of like a big part of it for them is trying to um you know really create that sense of physical security and foundation okay what else would you like to tell them directly divine counterpart of group uh group three okay so we have walking away and then we have second chakra archangel ariel all right, um, what about walking away? Did you want to tell them? So do you remember before, uh, this is kind of spooky actually, because before we saw that mysterious message with the Eight of Cups, I did not know what that was about. I was very confused about that. But here we have it again, where the person is walking away from something that was uh, maybe not serving them. That's usually the phrase I use for the Eight of Cups. And, it, and it's going to take a lot of strength to do this. Now, depending on the situation you're in and the timing, this may not have happened yet. But I think that this is going to require a lot of strength and belief in their guides or um, angels because th this really does look like something... I'm, I am feeling a person being stuck to something. So before I mentioned the possibility that just as an example, let's say that you or your divine counterpart um, either was or is in a situation uh, or a connection, let's say, that you feel like it's just not right for you. Just just giving an example. Please take it as it resonates. Um, if that's the case, yeah, it's going to be very hard to break free from something is what they're saying. And you are going to need strength and the help of your angels and guides. Okay. What else would you like to tell them, though? Divine counterpart of group three. Whoa, again with the money. <laughs> okay, so we have another door here. Door to spirit, door to value. Okay, so with the, again, we see doors opening. We see energy centers opening. That's actually the third time in a row we see some message about something opening. Actually, and the gate is open too. So something is really... Uh, making way for that energy. So when we open up something that was blocked or closed, we see the flow come bursting through. Um, and and yeah, like, I, I mean, truly, I don't know if there's like a literal financial message here. There, of course, there could be, but we'll see. We'll see. That's more of like, um, to be determined, it's still happening as we speak. But uh, the fact that things are opening and we see this wealth and prosperity 
just come blowing through. I mean, it. I think it obviously bodes very well for the both of you. Spirit, is there any other final messages? Um, what do they need to know? Is there any other detail about the situation or what else does the divine counterpart of group three want to tell them? Can you assist us here? Thank you. This is hard to channel because again, for a lot of you, it, it's just... Um, it just feels like there's a there's this type of blockage or distance um, to the point where, like I said, it's almost like consciously now, because the soul is different, but consciously I feel like there could be this lack of knowledge where um, either they don't know who you are, you don't know who they are, or there's something blocking the situation. That's why I'm having trouble channeling. Very different from group two. Um, okay, so we have here the Empress. Whoa, Seven of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Okay, folks, <laughs> um, I don't even know what, this must be a complicated situation that you're in. Uh, do you notice the numbers? You have three, three, and seven, and seven, and I'm noticing it was like forming this mirror but not in a twin flamey kind of a way or even a soulmate kind of a way i'm not really getting a good energy from this i'm feeling that this could be the illusion or the deception that one of you could currently be in and it's it's confusing everything it kind of reminds me of funhouse mirrors or like distorted mirrors where things are not what they seem and they on the surface looked one way but that it's really not the case Okay, and I don't know if the numbers do mean something good, but um, I do feel that relevant to the situation, there is some type of um, illusion, okay? So again, yes, it could be deception, because again, like before, we saw some Three of Swords, possibly what even could have been like a third party thing, I don't know, but I just feel that something here really needs... Uh, to be revealed to truth so what's the what's the advice there with this illusion or something what's going on here and how did, how can they move forward five of wands again we have conflict we have the ten of pentacles and then we have the four of cups so what we're seeing is a confirmation that there could be a hold up here there is some type of conflict that is uh there's a blockage here and again either it's something that has to do with financial or a family unit of some sort, okay? So here's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get the messages, the written messages. I just wanted to clarify that part. I'm going to get messages from them directly. I want them to speak to you if that's possible. If it's not, we can even get messages from their higher self and just sort of see how far we get. Spirit, can you assist us now in getting the direct messages from them? Divine counterpart, even the higher self of the divine counterpart of group three. What are your messages for group three? What do they need to hear from you directly? Thank you. You are my equal. Really beautiful message of how they see you. Um, they see you in the truthful light. They know that you are the equal. They know that, and, and we saw it before. We saw the king and queen of uh, of pentacles, like the same suit. So they, they do see you in quite an equal light, they, meaning they know you're cap like, they, I don't know, it, it's, um in one reading, they said like, oh, they see you in very much like a, like up here, like putting you on a pedestal. But here, they're like, no, you are my equal. You are my partner. We are a team, kind of like that. So these ones, I, I wasn't sure they came out like in, little small chunk but i'll still read them i will never give up hope and i'm hurting right now so again kind of confirming what we already saw that the situation is difficult okay it's not bleak but it's difficult what do they need to know from you directly please i dream about you all the time some cross messages here from the previous group too where these exact ones came out but anyway, obviously, it's a very different energy. I dream about you all the time. They even could be daydreaming about you, too. They, they could be lost in thought. Even if they don't know you, this could also be true, where, again, depending on their situation, they know that something is off about it, all right? 
please use caution okay. um, and only take what resonates here because again I don't know the situation and I'm not telling anyone to do anything I, I just yeah I, I could see that this is again very complicated what else what else uh, you want to tell them directly <clears throat> Now that was too many. Can we please have just one spirit as well? Help us out. Group number three's divine counterpart. As my computer sleeps. Wake up. Someone needs to say to one of you, wake up. That's probably you saying it though. Um, okay, so we also have I've been waiting for you. I need to be alone. Let's see. I actually feel like this is a, a, a double message here. I think one of you has been waiting and the other one needed to be alone. Not necessarily from you, but in a general sense, they're trying to distance themselves, detach and isolate right now to figure something out. But one of you has been waiting, I feel. Okay, what else? Uh, divine counterpart, any final messages? What do you want to tell um, group three? Kind of a messy situation if you will that's what the shuffle feels like definitely <laughs> oh my gosh can we have a final message please spirit from their divine counterpart just one more it feels like they just don't quite have the words like it, it's it's very this it's like jumbled i i don't know how to explain I'm done with this. Please talk to me. Okay, so again, it's like there, there's this constant conflict I'm feeling with this person. Like they're done with something and then they're yearning for something different. So don't, like this is not what they're saying to you. I don't, I don't think they're trying to say they're done with you because this is your divine counterpart. This is not a regular romantic situation where, you know, whatever. Like they wouldn't say this to you. So they're clearly done with something. So, or they're, they will be soon. Um... And with the please talk to me, I not necessarily like even just talking. I feel like they're yearning for an energy. They're 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 pulling and they're they're grasping, which actually is not really a great thing in terms of energy manifestation, um, because they might end up reversing that and pushing something away. So what they really need to do is find some type of inner calmness, um, which is difficult for them. Spirit, final message, final message for uh, group number three and their divine counterpart connection. Well, that's that's nice. We have the ten of oh my god. Do you see what I mean? And you got another double number here. This is kind of wild. Um this does give me the sense again. Yes, I feel you guys are mirroring each other's energies in a sense of like you're going through the same kinds of challenges right now of the soul. Your soul path is very similar and almost identical in many ways, okay? So you got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords, all right? So clearly a very different vibe in, in this. So it is showing us again the potential for some type of happiness down the line, harmony, love, but then we have this, this painful, cold ending of some sort, right? <sighs> Boy, th this, seriously, this reading, you guys got to let me know what's going on. It's, it's like... Um, it's like a, a movie. There's a lot of things happening. Um, it feels a, not dramatic exactly, but it feels intense, okay? Uh, and you may see, I mean, you guys more than anybody else, I think you will be seeing repeating numbers a lot. And you might not, you might not know what they mean, but uh, I just think that it, it's going to probably tend to happen, okay? Anyway, so I think the final advice of Spirit is... Um, you know, you're, it's not that you're, you're not doing anything wrong. You're not really doing anything out of bounds of whatever. Like, all you have to do is if you feel that there is a cycle that needs to come to an end, just let it come to an end. If you, however, need to walk away from something and you feel that within your intuition, you may want to think about that and really have the strength to do that if that's the case, okay? Because that's something we saw twice before. Um, other than that, uh, if you want your pers your divine counterpart to have a peaceful energy, as I mentioned, you can try to do that within your own heart, within your own energy. And this should actually help be helpful to them because you guys are sharing some sort of a 
wavelength here, okay? So I, I guess that's all for now. Really interesting reading. So again, let me know what's going on. If you found it helpful, if it resonated, feel free to subscribe. If you want a personal reading, the link is below. Um, and it's not all going to be on Saturdays. Like I said in the intro, I'll, I can do them on Saturdays or earlier, depending on my uh, weird schedule now. Thank you guys so much. Sending you blessings, and I will see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number four, which is the Epidote Pendulum. So I'm going to get a message from Spirit first about, you know, just general starting message. And then I will get your divine counterparts direct messages. I'll invite them to use any deck that they want to use. And then I'll get written messages at the end. Spirit, this reading is for group number four, Epidote. Please and thank you. Spirit, do you have a general message, a starting message for group number four, please, Epidote? I don't know if I should take these, but we have the Two of Cups and we have the Ten of Pentacles. What else? I feel there's a really heavy amount of communication coming in through soon if it hasn't already. These two people are really in a deep and hefty conversation. Um, it, it starts off here where it's just a little bit lighter and almost more casual, but then they just really get into it. Um, it's funny to me because I didn't expect that. Uh, it might even be from a distance at first. Yep, yep. Okay. So we have Queen of Cups, we have the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords. So I don't know if this is true, but this is just for a small number of you where um, distance in itself could be a an obstacle right now, some type of a burden, and maybe even that's something that you're talking about. Now, just as a side message, some of you could be talking about the actual future of that. Um, some For some reason, someone here needed to hear that. But in any event... Let's get the messages from Divine Counterpart of you. Um, okay, so Divine Counterpart of group number four. <clears throat> do you have a preference for deck? What deck do you want to use? What are your... Let's see if they have anything that they want to use. Um, I think they're a little indecisive, or that could just be me. So let's try to get one here first, and then we'll see if we need to switch. Group number four. Okay, Divine Counterpart of group number four. What is your first message? What do you want to tell them directly, please? heck so we have king of pentacles we have king of wands and then we have in the center the six of cups this gives me the impression that your divine counterpart i don't know if they're in an identity um battle right now but these are two totally opposite energies and i feel like it's both representing them in the in the one part of it uh in the king of pentacles it feels like they are just sitting still they're maybe even I don't know if they're ignoring something, but they're definitely not opening their eyes to something. And then the other part of them, the other half of them in, in, within themselves is kind of mad at them and saying, what are you doing? <laughs> um, that's kind of the vibe that I got with that. And then when the Six of Cups is more a loving energy, kind of the energy, well, the energy that they feel most likely when they think of you, when they want to share warmth with you. And it also brings out their inner child uh, with you and, and, and everything like that. What, what do you want to tell them about this? They, they want to say to you, a part of them is mad at themselves for, I, I mean, this, this suggests, this implies that they're not choosing their authentic self right now then so i don't know your situation everyone it could be very different but some part of them is i think not choosing to be their authentic self which is the the self that they feel with you um yeah and, and another thing they wanted to say with the page of cups is that yeah they do need to open themselves up or they do need to uh they basically need to w wake up or or do something or you know um <clears throat> offer something there's a cup in both pictures where there's something inside of the cup so i don't know if there's like an offering that is needing to happen here okay what is your message divine counterpart of group four what, what do you want to tell them
What else? What do you want to say about that? I feel that they they feel that you might be closed off to communication. Okay? I don't know if that resonates with every single person here, but I and hey, that could be true. I don't know. But um a feminine energy here, the, the Empress card is um supposedly closed off to communication whether that's true or not this is probably how they see it okay so these are their direct messages so yeah it, it just seems that there is something closed off here uh there even could be some type of i don't know if this is illusion i don't know if someone lied in the past but there there is something here that has blocked or that they feel has blocked um the clarity of the situation what else would you want to say to them about that I feel that your pers your divine counterpart is quite good at, uh, how can I phrase this? I, I do feel that they have so much to say, so much to articulate, but they, they do seem to be needing help doing that. So I do feel that they have some um, past blockages, especially towards communication and expression. But all they really need is a little bit of practice. They do strike me as a child in a lot of ways where a child is learning to speak and learning to write, learning to express their emotions. It's almost as if this person doesn't really have a lot of practice doing that. And again, that could suggest some type of um, trauma or like refusal to do it for some reason. Um, <clears throat> what else please divine counterpart of group four what do you want to tell them what would you like to tell them at this time same exact thing I mean it's something about this connection is very childlike very playful two opposite energies coming together to have a nice beautiful this like beautiful yin yang flow type of a thing we have fire and water um, what do you want to actually say though like, that's what they want to say is that they you bring out their childlike nature, which I think I did see before, and that's kind of pretty common of divine counterparts. But yeah, they, they just, they appreciated that. See, they do have a lot to say, actually. But it's just that, again, like I said, they 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 really need a push here. They need to feel safe to express themselves. And it's pretty clear that they do feel safe to speak around you uh, just the way that you make them feel safe and not judged or something like that. So we have temperance here. We have the five of cups. And then we have the five of pentacles too. Wow. Okay. So someone here and most likely them, at least for now, we are seeing someone who was left out in the cold or felt left out in the cold, felt directionless, even felt abandoned. I'm not saying by you, but they felt in their soul or in their lives abandoned, okay? And this is probably what led to a bunch of this stuff happening. Most likely for a good 70% of you, I'd say the person did struggle with some type of childhood trauma where they felt abandoned. And um, the, the other deck I saw earlier, in one of the other groups, it said the word orphaned, and it was likened to this. So I don't know. I don't know if they if they didn't have that family unit, you know, something like that. But this is really giving me the feeling of cold and child uh, together. Um, now, the good news is, is that there's healing. And I don't know if the healing has already... Well, I mean, most likely it's already happened at least a little. Uh, but there's still healing that is continuing to take place. And we can see balance, the way the temperance card is balancing between the two kings from earlier. So that's always a good thing. It's always good news. Now, since they seem to like child energy so much, I am going to be using my handmade deck, the Child Tarot. I feel like they might feel more comfortable, actually. Okay, so... Uh, divine counterpart of group four what are your direct messages what do you want to tell them in your own words let's use your voice now if you feel comfortable <laughs> um your divine counterpart said i want to win the game i'm just laughing because of the way they, that they're smiling um they said i want to win the game and I don't know if they're aware that they have help on the path. 
Um, I mean, they they do. I, I wait. Do they know? Do they do know now? I feel like they didn't know before. They may very well know now that they are guided, and it's kind of hard to dispute that fact because most likely they've been bombarded with signs and they may have even expressed this to you if you know who they are they may have expressed that to you when it comes to you they tend to get bombarded with signs maybe that's happening right now maybe um but yeah they they said to you i want to win the game so basically they find it very important in terms of their life their sense of pride and self-esteem they want to feel successful and of course, everyone has a different way of doing that, but in whatever way they expressed that this is important to them, whether it's their career or spiritual ability, whatever the case is, they, they want to win the game. This is, this is important to their, um, again, to like their self-esteem, their sense of power. What else would you like to say in your own voice? <clears throat> they, they also said, I don't know where the path is going to lead. So they kind of have this feeling that they have no idea what they're doing and no idea where they're going. But at the same time, they're okay with that now. They used to not be, but now they know that it's just a matter of following the, the, the guidance, okay? So they also got here the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Summertime, and the Master of Polynoses, which is actually still the King of Pentacles. So yeah, I mean, they're clearly exhausted. And I think the reason why is because they've needed to, to uh, I would probably say for a lot of you, they've needed to take care of everything and everyone else except their own soul. And that does get tiring. And another thing here I saw with the little chipmunk with its mouthful um, is that they've also held in their words for a very long time. Um, they've shut themselves up uh, and completely blocked their own throat chakra, their own unique communication and expression. So again, whether that's because they didn't have a safe outlet or they just didn't have practice or they refused to, maybe they saw it as something negative, I don't know. Uh, whatever the case is, that has also exhausted them. Um, so what, okay, if that's the case, wh again, what is your direct message, please, if you wanna use your own words and voice? Yeah, they did say it again. They said, I feel safe with you. I feel safe to talk to you. Um, we have here Magic Tricks, which is the magician. What's going on here with the... I feel like they're trying to say that they're pointing... Like, like they're pointing their energy to you, their thoughts at you. Um, and they... Okay. I think they said, I hope you hear it. I hope you can hear it. What I'm, what I'm directing at you, I think, is kind of what they said there. What else, please? Any other final messages with, with this deck? Okay, it, we're still not completely out of the... We're, we're not in the clear just yet. This is the Eight of Cicadas or the Eight of Swords, okay? So there is something that they're still clearing up. They're cleaning up. Uh, in their lives, there is some type of freedom that they're still trying to achieve. All right. Um, so they said that if at this time, yeah, they said if at this time I am not moving or I'm not reaching towards you or I'm not looking at you, there's a reason for that. And I hope that you can have patience with me, I think is kind of what they're saying. Anything else with this deck? But they do dream of you all the time. Daydream, uh, regular dreams and daydreams and just thinking about you effortlessly. They do it all the time. You see the moon and the star in the little bubble? Yeah, I think that that's pretty much how they see you. They know that this is an intensely psychic connection from the stars, something like that. It's hard for them to finish any tasks at all without thinking of you, I think. Uh, they know that there is something deeper to this connection. Again, they know that they receive signs. It's pretty obvious. They've received signs in the form of words. Um, for example, like the little breeze that's coming through the window, it made me think that the breeze tur uh, turned the page of the book to show them words that were meaningful about you, something like that. Let's just do one more here and then I'll get the worded messages.
<clears throat> we have here Mama. Interesting. Um, Mama is the Empress card, and we saw that before. Okay, so there it is, and here it is, the number three. Hmm. So, um, again, I, yeah, I do feel like this person admires you and your brightness, your creativity, your power, um, your femininity or something, probably. Uh, what else? Let's see. And when I say femininity, you know, again, like, uh, I'm not really, like, I don't know. There, there's like this, uh, this peaceful creative when i like almost creation energy in terms of the inner feminine anyway um and yeah i don't know like they they kind they see you as nurturing like motherly i don't know if that sounds weird or not but like they uh they appreciate that about you that you're so caring and nurturing and motherly in a sense of like just always taking care of their needs and caring for them because that's i don't know if that's something they're probably not used to that they're probably not used to people caring about them and their needs and, and everything all right so yeah the final thing i'm going to do like i said is i'm going to get the worded messages and i am wondering about the message having to do with the words the communication someone here i kind of just get this vibe of writing a letter or something like that I'm not saying that you have to write a letter and mail it to them, nothing like that. It's just more like if you feel the need to write something to them, they are inviting you to do that, especially if it helps you in some way. I feel that they'll receive it, okay? And you know what you could do also? Oh, this reminds me. I uh, I have done one of that channeled letter. That, that's what I've done. Uh, you may want to watch that one. I'm going to link it below, channeled letter from lost loved one. Um which even could be someone that you're not speaking to, that sort of a thing. Okay, now, Spirit, can you assist us here? We need to get direct messages from the divine counterpart of group number four. These are just kind of hard to shuffle. Okay, direct, uh, sorry, divine counterpart of group four, what is your direct message to them? What is your words? What are your words? I do feel like they're very tense about something. It's just... Um, a lot of fighting, a lot of battles. It's like, when is it gonna be peaceful? Let's 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 get there. Oop, okay. It's upside down. It was reversed. I wanna see. It says, I'm sorry I didn't see your worth. Wow. I didn't see this card in any of the other groups, okay? I'm sorry I didn't see your worth. I mean clearly that's changed because they see you as the Empress, alright? Maybe they're still coming to this realization as well, being that that was in the reverse. Not that I really care about reversals, but uh, yeah. Uh, what else do you want to tell them? Obviously, that's more for those of you. Um, that's not for everybody. That's that's for those of you that you've met your person and something's going on there. It's time. Very ominous message what i'm coming home okay that kind of scared me a little bit honestly that gave me the chills that really kind of scared me um if you've been receiving mysterious signs especially after a long absence of signs uh and that's been happening th this is even spookier okay it's time i'm coming home amazing amazing <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay Let's get it together. Okay, so what else do you want to tell them, please? So, I mean, that's pretty obvious there. If there has been an absence, uh, you know, and it, whether that's physically or emotionally, th th some some part of them is aligning, okay? Something is locking into place, falling into place with the puzzle pieces. Something is balancing. A lot of your connection has to do with divine alignment, okay? Yes, indeed. Whoops. Can we have just one at a time? Thank you. I just want to be sure. Okay, that was two. Let's try again. Can we get one? <clears throat> Pretty obvious message here. I want to talk to you. It's too late. They they feel, so I I knew there was a but coming. I want to talk to you, but they feel it's too late. Okay, that's only if it, uh, that resonates probably only if you guys have had a falling out or if something situational is going on. I mean, obviously, it's not too late. It's just that 
they they feel that there's some impossibility here or some I don't know like a disadvantage here they, they they don't feel free to proceed to talk to you because of something okay so what else again whether or not that's true that that's how they feel that's how they're seeing the situation okay what else please final messages okay th this came out in too big of a chunk so let's do this one what oh my god i swear this is so weird it says i think about you every second again i didn't see this uh in the other readings okay and i and i said that i didn't i i believe i said yeah, yeah, yeah sorry i get lost in it with the daydream card see it's true they think about you every second they really can't focus on much of anything else without getting distracted by thoughts of you or rem reminders of you this is really such a powerful creepily powerful connection and i say that in a very kind way possible uh it's creeping me out because it's just so connected it's uh super duper intense psychic i'm still healing yeah definitely we saw a lot of signs for that one. Oh wow i am ashamed okay so they are feeling badly about something, whether it was the fact that they didn't see your worth. I don't know if, you know, they hurt you, they abandoned you because of, let's face it, because of their traumas, okay? But they are ashamed of that, all right? Um, yeah. I feel the need to say this because I have seen this in past readings. I Trust me, I understand. Some of you might come through and say, well, I don't want to hear from this person and they did this to me and, you know, whatever it is. So again, like, the, the, I'm just delivering the messages. I'm just the messenger here and I'm getting the messages specifically from your divine counterpart. So this is not just anybody because like you might be thinking of even somebody else, but whatever is going on here with your divine counterpart Please keep in mind, this doesn't mean you have to be with them if that's not what you want. I'm just giving you the messages of what their vibe is. For the rest of you, if you want to ultimately come into union or reunion, um, these are just things to keep in mind, okay? Okay, final message, final message. Thank you. <clears throat> I don't know how the whole thing works. I really don't. Um, if you guys know about it, please let me know. But, I, like... I don't know. I, I guess it's like our potential. If the two divine counterparts or, or whatever we call them, if they fulfill their highest potential in their soul path, then yeah, I mean, we would love to hope for a beautiful, happy ending. That would be great. I just don't know how it works necessarily. Final message. It's not the right time for us. I am focusing on other things right now, or obviously they're trying to. So again, the timing is not quite there. It's probably almost there there is going to be a lot of divine interference happening for them in the recent because they really have trouble seeing the truth in a spiritual sense of this connection they think it's too late they think uh, if it resonates they think that they screwed up or that something it's just not able to be repaired okay <clears throat> that's what they think uh for the most part Okay, and they also think something about the timing and that they, they must try and focus on other things like, oh, it's too late, I got to focus on other things. But that's really not worth seeing on a soul level. Okay, so again, I, I mentioned in the intro, I might get stuff from their higher self. They're being guided by their higher self at all times. They're other guides, they're angels, divine, right? So what's happening here is spirit is trying to get them to wake up and to see the truth. Because the truth is that, yeah, and again, an ideal world, um, you are meant to have this union if in fact this person that you're thinking of it may not be them but whoever is your divine counterpart you're meant to have this union with them but like i said they are still coming to the truth of that and it's going to take a little bit more time uh but again they're still thinking of you they are uh, a big part of their soul like they, they're still coming home look at the look at the contrast here See, their soul knows it's time. Their conscious mind thinks it's not the time or if there ever will be a time. So this person has a conflict. They have this internal um, direct conflict with their, their mind and their soul. So they're going to need to come into balance with that. That's not what they're meant to be. And they're not meant to be in this internal state of um, like disharmony or discord or whatnot. So 
yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Final message for group number four, please, about this. The final message is that this is still growing. There, this, things, there, the parts are still moving. Things are still evolving. So to be continued, okay? We, I don't know what's going to happen here. Please do let me know if you have any shifts that happen. Um, but yeah, that is what we're seeing here for you guys, all right? So group number four, that's what I have for you. Um, and it, it, this was a very interesting reading. Please do feel free to let me know below uh, what's going on, if it resonated. And if you did find this reading helpful, please feel free to subscribe and to share this with somebody that you think might enjoy it. Um, if you guys want a personal reading, info is below. I do now, it says on Saturdays, but it's Saturdays or earlier in the week. It's just going to be a little uh, unpredictable. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Sending you love and blessings, and I will see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.